Welcome back to another episode of Anime Tokyo Podcast. I am your host Ayumi, and I am with my co-host Neru. Hi, Pyeong. Today we are on another episode of Ayumi's Otome Corner. We will be talking about ro- um, a romance detective gacha game called Tears of Demons. If you played Genshin Impact, then I'm sure you have heard of MiHoYo, which are the developers of Tears of Demons as well. So Neru, wanna tell us a bit about the game? Leave it to me, Pyeon. So, according to their official webpage, the story goes like this, Pyeon. Stellas, a city that rose from the clash of civilizations. Modern tech has given it its radiant neon lights, but also cast long shadows of obscurity. Lately, there has been a, an abnormal increase in the numbers of mental illness cases, as well as incidents that threaten Stellas' social security. Many gentle and good people of Stellas have somehow grown violent and volatile. These incidents may have been recorded, but they are often drowned in a flood of data. Yet someone took notice of them and compiled them for detailed analysis. Conan X Note, the project aims to peel away layers of obscuring data and reveal the hidden truths beneath. When all is put on the scales of law before Lady Justice, you'll be the one to weigh their crimes in the balance. So basically, the player is an attorney and she tries to bring justice to the world through fighting hard in the courtroom. However, she realizes that each case is tied to even deeper conspiracies and soon join hands with four other individuals, an attorney, psychiatrist, private investigator, and CEO to solve those cases, Pyeong. I like it's a mystery. So yeah, as mentioned, it is a detective game, so each chapter of the main story goes into different mystery cases. Neri and I play as close beta testers actually, and now that the game has been out for a while, we wanted to share our thoughts on it. So, although it was just a closed beta at the time, I thought that was, the game was already pretty fleshed out. We got to experience the full gameplay and up to the fourth chapter of the story, just not the events. So we were even given rewards at the end of the closed beta, and that was pretty cool too. We got to pull Gacha a whole lot, didn't we? Indeed, the, the Gacha addiction is back. Okay, next let's talk about the game mechanism and system. In the XML option, it has the main story episodes, study section, and event. Currently, there are five episodes in the main story, and in each episode, there are a mix of stories and rounds of using cards. I really like the interaction in the game, like the cases allow players to explore the crime scene, to collect evidence, interrogate people, and court trials using the collected evidence. And of course, there are gotchas like mentioned. In the fusion option, the gotchas are so addicting, but I barely get any SSR cards. Okay, so I'll just start by saying that there is a pity system in this game. You are guaranteed one SSR within 100 pulls and one SR within 10 pulls. There's even a counter on the gotcha banner so that you don't have to count yourself, Pyeon. And the basic indicator of which rarity you get is a golden light and a rainbow light. And if you do get an SSR with a rainbow light, it'll show you which character you got first by showing you their symbol, like an infinity sign for Marius and so on. And you can use those cards to pass rounds and episodes and build your deck. Each card can be upgraded to and they have stories of that character. So beyond the gotcha and main story, there are also features like N2X and Visit. So the N2X headquarters you don't unlock until later on in the story, but that's where you can check out all the information and profile you've gained over the course of the game, plus giving you a chance to get resources through the file and resource rooms. And the level of your NXX or N2X sorry, headquarters is based on your cards, so remember to level and evolve them, Pian. And then the visit function is where you can interact with boys outside of the game story. You can play games like Old Maid and read their side stories, Pion. Now let us introduce the characters to you. First, we have Luke Pierce, who is your childhood friend and a private detective. Then we have Artem Wing, the top attorney and your law partner. Uh, Marius Von Hagen, who is the hair of Pax Group and Stellas University, our student, specializing in oil paintings. Okay, last we have Ben Richter, who is a psychiatrist and criminal psychologist. So now that we've introduced all the characters, let's talk about our favorite characters. 
So my favorite character is Marie Pion. Although he's a he's really mischievous sometimes, he's also very observant and sweet. He's an art student at Stellis University while handling the past group at the same time, so one can only imagine how tiring he must be. But when he's with you, he's very caring and makes sure that you're safe, especially when you're working on cases together. He gets embarrassed easily though and blushes when he does, which is so adorable. So who's your favorite character, Ayumi? Um, Maui Finn. He's so gentle looking and the sign is so pretty. His Japanese voice actor is also my favorite, Jun Fukuyama, who also voices the dish from Kokia. Next, we'll talk about our favorite episode, which will probably contain spoilers, so maybe skip this for now if you want to avoid it. Well, Nebby, what was your favorite episode? Mm -hmm. I feel like this one is a very hard decision to make, since all the episodes are super good. But I guess if I did have to pick one, I'd say my favorite one is episode 5, since this is where all the stories end up being tied together. So episode 5 is also one of the longer chapters since it's split into three parts, but it's very interesting. So the story is about Jasmine, who is a reporter that wrote about a contamination in the river near a small fishing village. She was pointing her finger at a very large company called Hi Arison and, was and ended up getting sued by them because of that. So as she tried to find evidence that it was that company contaminating the river, she got into a car accident and died. So this is where our main characters step in, since they found a lead in the case while investigating another one. And yeah, that's all I'm going to tell you about this episode. All you gotta know is that this episode is filled with conspiracies and lots of twists and turns that I'm sure everybody's excited for. Wow, that sounds interesting. I can't wait to reach that part in the game. My favorite episode, mm, I think it'll be episode 2. In this episode, it talks about a victim of a murder named Estelle, who runs a fashion design company, and the evidence of her murder pointed towards Marius, since the poison was found in the chocolates that he gave her during that banquet. We interrogated her secretary, Jen, and pieced together information. It was a pretty heartbreaking end for Estelle and her secret lover, Janice. Estelle wanted to make their uh, relationship public, but Janice is a new celebrity actor also. He didn't really want to reveal the relationship yet. Their pressure caused him to poison her and Jen covered them because he, uh, because he kind of helped her back then. This case investigation was my favorite. Um, the love scandal was truly tragic, especially the part where in the trial where Janice was like, now you have what you want to Estelle, the whole world knows of our marriage. I feel this could have been prevented, but we must always remember that partners need to be understanding of each other. So yeah, very interesting case to check out. The game plot sure is filled with mysteries of all kind, and it's really hard to get bored of the story because of that piano. Okay, so let's also talk about the art. The art is gorgeous. From the backgrounds to the card arts, we can definitely see that the illustrators of the game poured their heart and soul into creating them. The higher rarity cards are also animated and they come with super nice effects too. The soundtrack is great and catch too. Really matches the tone of story. If you like games like Mr. Love Queen of Choice, then you may enjoy this game as well. Since it has a like, similar system with like main storyline and side stories with the male leads from cards. Oh, one tip that I can give all the new players is to save your gems. <laughs> it's one of the one of the things where the later on in the game you're gonna have a hard time getting gems, and there are going to be a lot of limited cards coming out soon. So I definitely recommend after pulling the 30 times to get your first guaranteed SSR to save your gems so that you can get the cards that you really want further down in the game. The game can be played in different languages, I believe, or the voiceover at least. The game is originally Chinese, but in the global version, there is an English, Chinese, and Taiwanese voice option. Oh, there's also Japanese too, yeah. So it's English, Ch 
Chinese, Taiwanese, and Japanese voice pack options. Well, that wraps up the Kyoto theme news section. Now moving on to our Otome News Corner. First, some of the Japanese news is Broccoli has announced that Killer and Strawberry Otome game, which was originally released on the PS Vita, is getting a Nintendo Switch game. Yay! It will be released on February 23, 2022. And then, Shunen no Bridge, Air of Salvation has released in Japanese for Nintendo Switch. I am just being so jealous of Ariel Oz on my timeline who's been posting images about it. I hope it gets an English translation soon. The art is so beautiful. Moving on to the English news. Another Ikemen series Otome game known as Ikemen Prince has released on a mobile. Yay! I only started on it so far, but I can't wait to get further into it. And then Olympia Solari has released on a Switch as well. I need to finish Buster of the Hole since so I can check it out, but I'm definitely looking forward to all of them. Uh, I guess that's a wrap up to this um, episode. Thank you for watching. Uh, let us know in the comment section if you, if you enjoyed this game too. What's your favorite episode? If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button below. Thank you, Pia. We'll see you next week. Bye.